Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. So we're in the site of a buy to sell. Now Ash is behind the camera saying, I don't want to be on camera. And here we are in a property that we bought and sold. And I'm going to share the figures with you and then talk through some of the process and why we're here. Um, so figures, and I'm just checking my clipboard. We bought for 168 and we bought it actually at auction. It wasn't pre, was it? It was actually at auction. And the reason it was being sold at auction, it was a council selling off some of their stock. Um, we did an 18 grand refurb and we did new kitchen, new bathroom, new boiler, replaster, new carpets, new floor. I mean, a perfectly nice, but um, this is the cheapest kitchen from Howden's. It's perfectly fine, um, but just adequately good. And then we've got it uh, sold and we're completing, exchanging, completing, well, subject to <laughs> the person exchanging and completing in 12 days times for 217,500. So 217,500 is the sale price, as long as they do exchange and complete. 168 is the purchase price and 18 grand is the renovation. So gross profit, 31,500. Fast turnaround in, bought from auction, 28 days to get it bought. Um, quick refurb, back on the market, and sold again fast. Now, from that 31,500, you still got to take off things like if you've got borrowings, then your borrowing fees, you've got to take off your professional fees, your lawyers, your lawyers in, your lawyers out, any kind of survey fees, any kind of professional borrowing, you know, borrowing interest and borrowing fees, um, your van man, and that's why we're here today actually, uh, and all your builder refurb in terms of maybe building up uh, the property, sorry, the furniture rather than the actual refurb itself. So you've got as my uncle John would call crud and corruption costs, which are going to dent into that 31,500. But nonetheless, this is a tidy profit. And this is a nice little one bed house, which is a fast of one bed flat, fast in, fast out. So why are we here? Well, <laughs> we're saving the wine. <laughs> Ash and I are here because we're only 10 days away, no, 12 days away from exchange and completion. We've already taken the gas reading, the electricity reading. Um, one, the gas was actually on a meter, so we've got that. We're not gonna use any gas now, so that's gonna be the gas reading. The electricity was on a card, one of those prepay cards, and we just wanna double check we're not leaving any loss, any debt on the card, because that's just really bad manners. And we've actually been using this flat as a storage, because we've had a whole bunch of properties sell, vum, 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 and we've had a whole bunch of properties, that's my, that's my technical language, and we've had a whole bunch of properties that we're renovating, but we don't have any new on the market. So we've, we've actually stored about three houses worth of storage furniture in this property, because I refuse to pay for storage space, not because I'm mean, but because as soon as you start paying for storage space, things start just getting lost, and I just don't want that. Luckily for us, we've got three properties that are about to go on the market, so Ash and I are here with our clipboard to take an inventory of what goes where. And because we work in a 17 minute radius, we will only do projects within 17 minutes of the office. The next property, which is a three bed house, isn't it? With a, a sitting room, a dining room and a kitchen, is probably gonna swallow up almost all this furniture. And it's like five minutes around the road. But before we sort of finish off with this property, we wanna check, is everything okay? Does it need a final clean? Have we taken the gas readings, the electricity readings? Have we written to the council tax? Have we written to the water rates to say, here's the new buyer, um, on day of exchange and completion? And then what furniture do we need to move where? So, clipboard, ready, here we go. Good luck when you're doing property, whether you're doing buy to sell or buy to keep, or whether you're buying from auction. And we've got lots more videos for you, and if you wanna subscribe, then you'll be the first to get them. See you soon, bye.